Welcome to Cochrane, Ontario. I just got here myself. I um, want to just take a few minutes to update you on the situation or where we're at, where I'm personally at, uh, at this stage of the ride. On June 28th, when I was leaving for BC with the van, Ruth was going to work and she uh, came back. We had said our goodbye and she came back <coughs> and she said, be strong and courageous. And that was that. When I lay in the emergency ward for four hours in the Chilliwack Hospital, it's those two words that I processed over and over again. They helped me to come to a resolution. This was after the crash on, Ju on July the 2nd. So that 24 hours later, I was standing at the starting line in Vancouver City Hall a second time. But on the way to the second to the Vancouver City Hall, Ruth called. <coughs> and she summarized an Andy Stanley sermon that she had heard that morning. And the point was adversity in our life is not optional. But our attitude, our behavior, our fear towards it is optional. So 30 hours after I cra crashed on a very steep downhill, I was able to ride, by the grace of God, that same hill without any fear at all. And so last, the last 24 hours have been difficult, as they always are in this ride. And a very bad stretch of road in North, on, on number 11. It felt like I was riding on a washboard. Just really did a number and beat up my body pretty bad. It also had, was in danger of beating up my spirit. <coughs> when Ruth left that, e that night after her shift, uh, she again said the same words, be strong and courageous. And these words don't just mean strength and courage, they also mean support and release to do what I believe is right to do. It was a difficult night and didn't get any easier with the, with the strong rain. So that brings us to where we are here today. And I just want to say a big thank you for the support that I have received from Ruth uh, and I continue to receive. We are going to take our motel here now for a few hours where I will actually lay in a bed for the first time in nine days and rest. And then the plan is to continue on on, our, on the last third of our journey. It's not easy for me to always come to a stage where things get handed over to God completely. But when I do, amazing things happen and I expect that the outcome will be the same, same for you as well. Um, I may not be the next, the new Guinness World Record holder, but lucky for me, I'm the existing Guinness World Record holder. We believe that there is power in the story that God wants to tell. And so we are committed to continue on to Halifax. We're excited to pick up Charles and his son Isaac tomorrow to join the rest of our journey. So I want to thank you for all your prayers and support. And uh, my spirit may be bent, but due to the strength and support of Ruth and by the grace of God, it is not broken. I'm stronger in the Lord than I was before, and I'm more committed to be an ambassador for the children rescued by Charles Mooley and Esther Mooley than ever before. Thank you, and we'll see you on the road in a few hours. How long was that? Two.